Hello music fans, this is the Death by Unicorn channel, and this is my segment called What's New 2023, where I talk about new albums that came out in metal, rock, and prog, and give my first impressions of them. Today I'm going to talk about five albums that came out all on Friday, October 13th. So the unlucky Friday the 13th albums, let's see if they're any good. But before I do that, just want to thank everyone just crossed 100 subscribers, so uh, great to hit that milestone. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. And if you haven't already, but you enjoy my content, hit that button and stay tuned for my future videos. So let's jump right in. I'll talk about these in my order of preference, starting with Oni and their album, The Silver Line. This is progressive metalcore, uh, has some genty guitar playing, some groove, groove metal influences, as well as some good poppy uh pop influences, some really catchy choruses. Silver Line is the third album by the Canadian band Oni. And uh, before the album came out, I heard the early release single called Aura that features Howard Jones, formerly of Killswitch Engage, on co-lead vocals. It got me interested to check this out because it was just a great song. There's some other great guest appearances on the album as well, like YouTuber Jared Dines playing guitar. The band Sixth makes a guest appearance. Michael Lessard, who's the vocalist from The Contortionist, appears on here. And there's even more great guests, and all the guests do a great job on their tracks. Jake Oni is the driving force and the lead vocalist on the album. He has both amazing clean singing abilities and intense screams. I think fans of the band Era will like this. My favorite track is still Aura, the one that features Howard Jones. My second favorite album from Friday, October 13th, is Fortress Under Siege and their album Envy. This is progressive power metal with heavy metal influences. It's the fourth album by this Greek band. They have epic soaring vocals. It's all clean singing on here, no screaming. Uh, fans of the band Stradivarius will like this. And then the third one that I enjoyed was Metric and their album Formentera 2. This is indie rock with new wave, post-punk, and synth-pop influences. It's the ninth album by this Canadian band. Really solid indie rock with great female vocals. My favorite track on here on first listen was the soft ballad called Nothing Is Perfect. Uh, two more to go through. Uh, Beartooth is next with their album The Surface. This is hardcore punk with metalcore, hard rock, and pop punk influences. It's the fifth album by this American band. This features both intense screen vocals, catchy poppy hooks with clean singing. The lyrical content here is angsty. It definitely has some of that pop punk and emo influence to it. The breakdowns are great though, and there's catchy choruses on here that are great. There's some nice soft songs and sections to break up the heavy parts. Uh, it's well done, but uh, nothing too new or different. I've, I've heard this done by dozens of bands who do this similar style and who do it better than Beartooth. Uh, so I likely won't come back to it too much. But for people who like this hardcore punk style with a little more um, melody and accessibility to it, I think uh, this album, The Surface by Beartooth, will be good for you to check out. And lastly, I want to mention Crosses and their album, Good Night, God Bless, I Love You, Delete. This is an electronic album, so it's a little bit different from what I normally listen to. It's got a bit of a rock vibe to it, some dream pop, dark wave, and witch house are some of the genres that have been associated with the band Crosses. It's the second album by this American duo. It's a side project of the Deftone singer Chio Marino and far guitarist Sean Lopez. Pretty interesting, uh, but definitely just, just not my style. So I don't, I don't know if I have too much to say about it, but if you're interested in kind of weird, dark sounding electronic stuff, I think you might like this. So check it out if that sounds interesting to you. And that's it for my first impressions on these five new albums that came out Friday, October 13th, 2023. Let me know what you think of these or let me know if anything else 
great came out over the past week uh, that you think I'd enjoy down in the comments. And until next time, peace out.